subscribe to Gizmo Times and get notified about our latest videos by hitting the bell icon. Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a quick tips and tricks of the Samsung Galaxy A50 smartphone. This is the A50 that comes with the triple lens camera on the back and one of the major things about this smartphone is that it comes with the one UI that is based on Android Pie. Samsung has finally done something about this software versions and the actual interface itself because uh, the experience UI or the previous Samsung UIs which was even touchways at one time they were not as good. The one UI changes quite a lot of things. Uh, there are lesser animations, the interface looks smoother, cleaner and actually works better. So let's start with the, what you can do with the interface to change it and uh, change the looks of it. Pressing on the long uh, home button, a long press would actually give you these options. That's wallpapers, themes and stuff where you can actually download wallpapers. You can, uh, you can change one of them from the pre-installed ones or you can go down where you can purchase wallpapers in case you like one of them or there are several free options as well and it's one of the easier ways to actually download and use the wallpapers on the Samsung Galaxy A50 with the One UI. Similar tips would also work on the Samsung Galaxy A30 because it's almost the same with the One UI and uh, that is based on Android Pie. And the next one is about the themes. So these are the different themes that you can download and install. This is the contrast theme that is the dark one uh, and uh, uh, this would give you the uh, darker look and since this is the AMOLED display darker look actually saves battery as well. Here as well you can purchase themes if you go down and uh, these are all the Samsung themes from their own server. So you can download them, purchase them or you can also install the free ones that you want. So this is how you can change the themes on the Samsung Galaxy A50 or the Samsung Galaxy A30 smartphone. And while you can change the theme, the wallpaper change would also just change the look of the phone while the icons and everything else would stay based on what theme you have chosen. So these were a couple of things. Now again going back to how what else you can do on the home screen. Uh, you can again long press on this one and you can see the home screen settings where you can change stuff like the layout of the home screen and also the grid. Uh, the grid on the home screen would change the size of the icons, the number of icons that you can showcase. By default it's 4 by 5 then you can do it 4 by 6, 5 by 5 or 5 by 6. So the size of the icons change, the arrangement changes and it's totally based on how you want your apps to be shown on the home screen. Since some of them, some of you might prefer lesser apps with larger icons uh, for an easier access. Some of you might actually prefer it to be smaller and give a more number of apps on the home screen itself. So this is how you can actually change the home screen settings on the Samsung Galaxy A50 with the One UI. Next is about the display settings. What all can be changed on the display? Since it's a super AMOLED display, you can expect quite a lot on this smartphone. There's adaptive brightness, there's also the blue light filter mode. So that's first thing. Blue light filter is something that would uh, reduce the stress on your eyes and brain when you're using the phone in low light conditions in night. Uh, so you can, uh, it would actually uh, filter out the blue light and uh, reduce it. And here the opacity can be changed. Once you turn on the blue light filter, you can change the opacity of it. And this can be turned on whenever you want. Or you can actually schedule it. Scheduling it uh, towards the night uh, helps you so that it's a bit automated. You don't have to do it regularly. So the opacity, more the opacity is uh, the lesser the blue light would be on the screen of the phone. And next one is this uh, scheduling thing. Uh, it took your location based info because uh, that's custom from sunset to sunrise and the sunset time sunrise rhyme is taken by the phone from the server again. Next one is night mode. This is an interesting mode where everything turns dark. And at night, it's better to use a dark theme and a darker uh, interface. You get a dark theme, but night mode would change everything, even in the settings and everywhere you use the phone. And this also can be turned on manually. You can go and schedule it as well. Just like how the blue light filter is, you can uh, schedule the night mode as well. And one thing here is that uh, for the night mode to be activated, you cannot use any dark theme. So that is one important thing. You have to use a regular theme. If you use a dark theme, you cannot use the night mode. You'll have to change it. Next is the screen mode. Since this is AMOLED as said earlier as well, uh, the colors are quite vibrant. So you can set the colors here, you can set it to basic AMOLED cinema, AMOLED photo and you can change the photos on the top to see how, how uh, largely the changes happen when you try to uh, switch between the different screen modes. And the color, the white balance can also be changed. You can have it cool, warm or uh, based on again uh, how uh, good the colors you want them to have on the screen. Next in the display settings you also see the size of the fonts that can be changed. Uh, that is another good thing about personalization of the phone and uh, how easier it has to be for your uh, text. You can also change the font. One thing that most of the Android phones does not offer directly but Samsung does is the change of the fonts itself. And this is a screen zoom. 
if you want to read a messages in a larger way uh, the screen zoom would help there and one thing here is about uh, the easy mode easy mode is something that would uh, give uh, users a lesser headache you don't have to see a lot of options this is mostly for the elderly users who don't want a lot of clutter on the home screens clutter on the settings anywhere so this is the easy mode where you see everything that is large and lesser number of icons everything that is important is the only uh, things that are shown here and it's easy to switch from uh, the easy mode to the regular mode and that is the standard mode it doesn't need a restart that's one thing it will directly change the easy mode from the settings itself so that is with the easy mode the display settings on the samsung galaxy a50 and uh, the final one is the navigation buttons here you can either have the buttons which is my favorite because i don't like the navigation gestures but you can switch them and you can change the button order as well if you're coming from a phone like honor uh, or oneplus you can change the navigation buttons uh, that's the left um, back key on the left but if you're coming from a previous samsung phone the default ones are good these are the navigation gestures where you see a sl uh, slant panel a uh, flat panel on the bottom pulling that up would give you the different functions so that is one thing So the gestures is all totally based on whether you like them or not, whether you want the gestures. Uh, Android's latest uh, UI, that's Android 9 Pie, has all these full, uh, full screen gestures to take advantage of the large screen. But I would usually prefer the navigation buttons which are easier to use and easier to understand as well. So these are the main things and there's the always on display from Samsung where you can actually tap to show things. And always on is something that shows on the lock screen, not even lock screen, whenever the screen is turned off, you can go to that and see uh, the things like uh, quick notifications, uh, the clock panel and those things are the ones that you see on the always on display Whenever you are not even using the phone it would show you the time This was uh, from a couple of years on the Samsung phones and it works quite well It doesn't use a lot of battery which is another good thing You don't have to turn the screen on when you are, uh, whenever you want to see the time The always on display would keep showing there So this is how it shows the battery percentage, the time and date And if there are any notifications it would show the app icon of that particular notification so those are the things under all always on display you can uh, keep the orientation from portrait to landscape and these are different uh, wall uh, designs the clock designs that you can change between uh, them and uh, that is uh, the always on display on the samsung galaxy a30 and the a50 which have the same feature again so this is how it would show up on the front uh, this is uh, the always on display unless you turn on the screen then it would uh, just uh, disappear so the last one is here uh, here is about the security part where you can uh, set up the uh, the fingerprint sensor also the face unlock and those things can be done quite well this is the first samsung's a series phone to have the in display fingerprint sensor there's no fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone so you can set that up easily uh, with a few multiple tabs and that has uh, that we have done a separate video of uh, this entire thing of how you can set up how good the registration is how good the recognition and the time to unlock is you can check that out of uh, uh, that video in the channel to learn more about the fingerprint scanner as well as the face unlock on the samsung galaxy a50 smartphone so this was the part one of the galaxy a50 tips and tricks about the personalization of the home screens about the looks of the interface and also about the display settings and the security options of the galaxy a50 keep checking out for the other videos there are a couple of other parts as well for the important user tips and tricks of the galaxy a50 so stay tuned on gizmo times and subscribe to gizmo times for more thank you for watching and see you on our next video